Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Exa Hammer, and I'm playing some Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now, you may be wondering what I'm doing just up here, right? Now, in the last episode, well, in the last couple of episodes, I've been mentioning that I wanted to improve the base somewhat, right? Just to make it a little bit easier to defend and where stuff is. So, ta-da! Right, this is <laughs> where I've got to so far. But right, it's not bad, you know, it's... It, it does what it needs to do. It's not completely finished because I'm a little bit lazy. I also didn't realise that this was just stops. It just stops. There's, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Right. So, yeah. I made this bit look a little bit prettier. As you do. Look at it. It's lovely. Right. And um, field. I doubled up on the uh, bathrooms. So, we've got two bathhouses. Three toilets now. Which is quite cool. We've still got a little barn over in the corner. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was about it. Oh, I made like a little mini workshop for myself. Just, yeah, because why not, you know. <laughs> yeah, right, so I'll stow them in there because uh, little sugar cane ones. I do believe I have this one. Is this one? Yeah, for wheat, this one. I'm pretty sure it's for cabbage. Yes, indeed. Right, so, yeah, I may as well farm this crop up. And where were we in the last one? Um, oh yeah, we've just got fertiliser, haven't we? We've just found a fertiliser and... Yeah, we needed to go off. We've just found all the tomato seeds. We needed to go off and get some pumpkin seeds. Uh, yeah, should be quite cool. But, quite obviously, instead of doing those quests, I was just uh, making my base look pretty. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. That's all I did was just spent ages doing this. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I also uh, upgraded the kitchen area. Because, you know, it had to be done. It's just so much better now. So much better. Uh, the living quarters are basically the same. Uh, it's just... Yeah, a few more beds in there, if I'm completely honest. I got rid of those uh, little beds that I did. And, yeah, just throw everybody in here, if I'm completely honest. All right? And, um, yeah, all I need to do now is get Mr. Wormington to turn everywhere nice and luscious green, like this bit just here. And, yeah, we should be all good. So, right, before we venture out, let's uh, uh, ring the bell. Are we ready? Pow. Dun. Beautiful. Ooh. Are they? Ooh, two new people. Very nice, very nice. Some more furrow fieldians. And what can we build now? Ooh, some roofing. I'm farming gear. <laughs> really? Do I want to look like a farmer? Mm, I'm not sure. Hey. What on earth is going on there? Wow. It's quite funny. <laughs> Right. That's cool. That is cool. Right. <laughs> hey. Yes, I will greet them. And here they are. Oh, look at them both. Can I join you? Of course you can, good sir. Huh. No, they would not. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, maybe you can't recognise us because we all wear the same hats. I mean, he, he's got a point. <laughs> Another pair of Furrowfieldian farmers moved into Furrowfield Farm. Wow. 
I want to talk to the other person. Come on, in your own time. There we go. You got anything nice? Nope, where, where are you going? Where's she going? Come back here. Talk to me. How do you do? I... Uh, I'm lost for words. Ooh, we're also max level. I did not realise that. Wow. Max base level, that is. Yeah. So we're not doing too bad. Right. Who had quest for us? Mr. Wormington did, so we may as well talk to him. I have already got an acorn, believe it or not, Mr. Wormington. Um, but I don't really know if I want them. I don't want to fill it up with trees, though, because they're just too big and... <laughs> I just don't like them. No, it's not. Uh... Uh... Really? Well, am I going to make a little swing for it? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh dear, right. Ugh. Right, where are my acorns? Let me go, because if I'm clever, I can plant it over in this back area. And if I plant one there, give it a bit of room. Give them a bit, you know, I'll put a few down here, just to make it look a little bit better. As such, right, so. What I'll do is I'll uh, pop them back in the bag. Now, the tomato seeds, I was going to use this field and dig it out in trenches if you are with me. Actually, I'll just show you just in case you're not with me. Alright, so what I was going to do was like that. And just, yeah. Because it needs to be surrounded by water. So I'm assuming if I do it in strips... You know what, we can do this together. Let me go into the workshop. See if I've... Why is that new? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Ooh, 10 defense on the farming gear. Let's make some of that. I don't mind looking like a farmer for a little while. Right, um... What was I building? What was I building? Really, what was I building? <laughs> I remember, I just can't see them. There they are. Right, planting poles. So we'll make 20 of them. Evidently, I already had some, so... Whereabouts are they? Are they on... There they are. Beautiful, right? So yeah, the idea is to do that and then place... Like that. And then, yeah, so on and so forth. So, whoa, not both of them, hammer. Calm down, relax. <laughs> right, yeah, and then dig this one out again. Put planters, fill it up with water. And they are cultivating that underneath it, aren't they? Yes, they are indeed. Right, so, <laughs> let's build this tomato farm. Or tomato field. I had no idea they'd just do the bottom of it. I genuinely didn't. It is quite funny, but I must say, I must say, it is funny. It's good to know that they will do stuff like this. So you never know, I might be able to get away with doing all of it. I'm not sure. I am not sure at all. Right, so. Seriously, so that's going to do my head in because that's going to be off there. And I can't make it... Uh, or can I make it central from... Oh, really? <laughs> wow, right. Start again. Let's take out a that and one of them. Put you there. Put you back here. It's time to eat. You've seen them all. They're crazy. They're like vultures. Honestly, we're just like, yep, it's food time. <laughs> Off we go. Right. 
I suppose it doesn't really matter how these look, does it? Right, that should be more than enough. Right, so let's get some of these planted. And then we're going to go and find some pumpkin seeds. Right, because I'm pretty sure I know where they are. As when I was venturing out, I may have stumbled upon them. Or I stumbled upon the bit where I needed to be, if that makes sense. You know, true hammer fashion. Can't just stay within my own boundaries and... <sighs> yeah, right. So, I'll finish that off at a later date. What is the armour I've already got on? Uh, it's 16 defence. So I really don't need this, but I suppose I could equip it in a moment just for giggles. I mean, it's probably all it's going to do is just give me a giggle. Yeah, look, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little farmer now. Farmer hammer. No, I prefer my training tugs. Alright, so we'll put them in there. And then we need to go into here, into here. And we need to go over here. Alright. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. So, let's go to the ruined church. Now, I've also found a little secret about this place, right, which I will show you. But first, we'll follow good old doggo and get some pumpkin seeds. Look at that, beautiful. And I just realised I forgot to put the water down for the tomatoes. But it's okay. Right. Hmm. Right, cool. So, let's run around with doggo. We'll take that one. Ooh, we've got one here. Any more? Wow. Where are you going, doggo? Very nice. Is that it? Seriously? Come on over here. Sure, there's got to be more. Right. So, this is the church. Now... I have already been here and done, <laughs> yeah, you know, again, in true hammer fashion, I just can't, yeah, I just can't leave it, right, if I see somewhere, I've got to go in, I've got to explore, it's, uh, yeah, right, so, I've already been in here and I've already explored, but what was really interesting, right, was while I was trying to gather up bits, <laughs> right, as you do, I managed to dig through the floor, right? And I didn't realise this. This is quite cool because there's a little underground bit. I'm pretty sure the proper passage is meant to be here. I think something like that. Or you meant to... I'm not 100% sure, right? But anyway, you can... Ah, that's where it's meant to be, look. Right there. So you can fall down and there is a fat rat here, okay? Now, if you talk to the little fat rat... He says, what's a human doing in the basement of a rundown, beaten up old church like this? You're definitely more man than mouse making your way down here. The church is haunted, you know. Okay, so... <laughs> they say the priest here used to collect seeds to grow in his beautiful garden, but now he haunts the church he once called home. Okay, these... Treasure chest contains his most prized possessions, the seeds he spent his life collecting. Alright, so... I'm going to take them, right? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Tomato seeds, sugar cane. Any pumpkin seeds? Plenty of pumpkin seeds. Still not enough, though, right? So that's 27. So I'm really hoping that I don't get ambushed now through stealing his, uh, yeah, his life's work, essentially. Uh, but, yeah, and then you just follow it round, and it actually brings you out just the other side of the church, which I thought was pretty cool. Right? Because if you were just using your map, you would never see this place. You need to run around it. Right. It's brilliant. So cool. Really well hidden. Right. So, let's go and get some more seats. <laughs> right. Where's... Oh, there's one. Any more, doggo? Come on. I need two more. Oh, there we go. One more, doggo. One more. Come on. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. 
And there we go. Uh, hmm. Maybe I needed to come up to this. Yes, I believe so. It might be. Hmm. Hmm. It could well be. Oh, wow. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, you're gonna give me missions? That's cool. Okay. Uh oh. Really? Um, I hope he doesn't want me to repair too much, because I kind of, um, yeah. Oh. Well, this is interesting, because I have just kind of gone underneath and stole all of his seeds. Anyway, so, no, right, we'll go and talk to him and see how this unfolds, because, yeah, depending on what he wants me to do as well, because I have stripped this place pretty well clean. Alright. Anyway. Hmm. Okay. Really? Okay. Cool, cool. As long as... Oh, no. I'm going to have to give him his goddess statue back, aren't I? Just for the meanwhile. <laughs> right, well, I'll see what I actually kept up. Because I did keep quite a lot of it, as you can see. Alright, now what else did he need? The candles, did I take them? I took them, look, they're still there. And that's still there. And I do believe I need two of those column crowns, was it? I oh, know they should already be here. So I'm going to need... Does it matter what they're built on? I wonder. So can I put... Let me just have a quick check, right? Because right about here should be the altar. So can I put the altar up on this? Yes, it still works. That's fine, right? So, <laughs> ooh, panicked a little bit there because I need the castle stuff and I will explain to you why I need that. Right, and that is because the enemies, when you have little random attacks, they can still break through most things, but I'm pretty sure they can't break through the uh, castle style stuff, which is why I want it, okay? Just because it's going to make my life so much easier. Alright, it's so a book there. Candle. Candle. Where do the chandeliers go? Right, up there. Like that. So if I put another one there. Put you there. You there. Right. Now I'm pretty sure I don't have another goddess. <clears throat> That's going to be a little bit of a problem. It might very well be a little bit of a problem. Right, so these things need to be here, if I recall. No, because there should be a block there, so they need to be there. Like that, okay. So they're in place, they're in place. It's just the goddess. Uh, right, let's quickly mooch on home and grab what we need to grab. Just quickly, just quickly. <laughs> Uh, see, this is probably why I should stop running off and looting everywhere. But, 
I wouldn't be me if I just left it. Alright, just give me the goddess statue, man. Ah, oh, thank you, but I'm not talking to you just yet. Alright, now. Ruin church, go! Hopefully, he'll be happy with this, man. I can take all of my stuff back. And he'll just tell me to go underneath the castle, where I do not know where this stuff is. You know, pretty standard. Right, was it up? Right, two up, dead centre. So... Two up, dead centre on top. There we go. Look at that, right? Now that's beautiful, considering it's made out of a uh, dirty soil. But that's not the point. Yeah. High five. Right. Talk to Mr. Ghosty. Right. Cool. Uh, is that really a long story? Hold that thought. We've got company. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big meanie. Right. Let's teach him a lesson. Whoa, dude. It's not very nice. Oh, insta kill. <laughs> and again. Oh, this needle. And again. Look at that. It's just crazy. You need this weapon. <laughs> Great. Oh, where's he gone? Ah, there he is. Miner's altar again. Beautiful. Come on, man. Uh, right. Hmm. He knows something Maroth does not know. <laughs> right. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Anything else? Ha ha. I have already done that. And thank you very much, my good sir. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we completed that. So, what I'm going to do is end this episode off here because in the next one we're going to be uh taking all of our stuff back and turning these quests in so yeah i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys